Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So let's start with Ferrari, where team boss Frederick Vasseur has said that development on this year's car is set to stop after the next F1 race in Austin. Now this season has been up and down for Ferrari, like it started well and then they had a tough few races in the middle of the season. But since the summer break, they found some form and even won the Italian Grand Prix. But it looks like focus is now turning to 2025, with Vasseur being quoted by The Independent as saying, We all know that we already started the development of the next car, and we try to do our best to have small upgrades at the next race. I think it will be probably the last one for everybody. That will be true for us, but it will be true for the other teams. Now it's so tight overall in the last 4 or 5 6 races, if you have a look at the grid, it may get tight and every single bit can make a difference. Now I do think Ferrari will manage to secure third in the constructors this year, despite being set to stop development on this car after Austin, and I think there's going to be a lot of anticipation over the 2025 car. Given Lewis Hamilton will be joining the team, and there have been reports that the team are making moves that could date Hamilton's driving style. So let's see. But let's move on to Red Bull, where advisor Dr. Helmut Marko says the team will mainly look at its junior drivers for the future. As we know, the team have looked outside its pool in recent years, with them appointing Sergio Perez in 2021 and Nick De Vries for the junior team in 2023. And there are drivers who could be options for Red Bull in the future, including George Russell, whose Mercedes contract runs out at the end of 2025. But in an interview with publication Formel1.d, Marco said, George Russell is on par with Lewis Hamilton in qualifying, if not faster. But Russell is Mercedes-Benz affiliated, and now we are focusing on our juniors. We see this with Franco Colapinto, for example. He was relatively inexperienced and not very successful in the junior series, although it has to be said that he never had the best teams. But what an incredible performance he's putting in now. And now let's see what our juniors, or even a Yuki Sonoda can do. He can also be described as a junior. But as I mentioned earlier, how does he compare to a Lawson? Now I think it's right that Red Bull focus on their own driver pool. I mean Marco is right that Colapinto has done a fantastic job for Williams. And I think Red Bull junior driver Liam Lawson can do the same thing for Red Bull. And he will be in the junior team from the next race. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care. Bye.